171st plenary meeting of the General Assembly is called to order. I personally believe that the final text of this conference meets those commitments to a great extent. I also believe that the lack of a regulatory framework on the import, export, and transfer of conventional arms has made a daunting contribution to ongoing conflicts, regional instabilities, displacement of peoples, terrorism, and transnational organized crime. The final text, I believe, underscores this point quite clearly. It also draws a link between the presence of weapons across the developing world, especially in conflict-affected areas, and the challenge of sustainable development and safeguarding human rights. The General Assembly is now voting on the draft resolution A-67-L58, entitled The Arms Trade Treaty. Will all delegations confirm that their votes are accurately reflected on the board? The result of the vote is as follows. In favor, 154. Against, 3. Abstain, 23. Draft Resolution A-67-L58 is adopted. This is a very good framework, I think, to build on. It's fair, I think it's balanced, and it's strong. But it's only a framework, and it'll only be as good as its implementation. And so I think you'll see that uh, sites will now swing towards how we best implement this treaty in order that it can do what we want it to do, and that is save people's lives and reduce human suffering and bring predictability to the arms, uh, to the, to the arms trade. Obviously, I was disappointed we didn't get it by consensus. I would have liked to have done that. That was my mandate. That was what I sought to do. And I made a, a very sort of uh, a very strenuous effort to bring that about. Um, and, and we fell short. But having said that, I think the result today was a very good result. And I'm very pleased that there will be an ATT. This is a treaty with teeth. It, and I think you have to give it time but I think it will make a difference over time. I think it's a very good framework for states to work with. Thank you.